Hello, Uyghurs. Many of you have been asking me about this curious combination of picking and strumming that I have been doing quite regularly in a lot of my videos. So here's how to do that, the way that I do that. So first of all, I'm going to show you the finger picking pattern and then we'll add the strum in later. The finger picking pattern I do, so just in case it's not clear what that even means, what I'm doing, if you notice I played a four chord pattern on my left hand, A minor, F, G, C. So all I'm doing with the left hand is holding the chord. My right hand is doing the same exact pattern on each of the measures or each of the chords. I might do the same chord twice, right? Do the same pattern twice. But it's the same pattern. And my pattern uses only three fingers. Many finger picking patterns use four. I'm only using the first three, thumb, middle, index, in that order, thumb, middle, index, the middle index. There are six plucks in the pattern, or picks, I'm gonna call them plucks. One, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, and it's always the middle index, 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 the thumb. Notice my thumb is hitting two different strings, and the middle index are always hitting the same two strings. So this is what's happening. So the thumb hits the four string, which for most of us, G, C, B, A is the G string. It's going to be your, your low string, um, but if it's re-entry tuning, it won't be <laughs> your low, but it's this string at the top of your ukulele. Closest to you is the four string. So that's four, G, C is three, E is two, A is one. So if I say those numbers now, you know what I mean. So I'm hitting the four string with my thumb, and then the middle index hits the one string and the two string. So the middle finger always hits the one string, the index finger always hits the two string, and then my thumb comes back and hits the three string the second time, and then middle on one, index on two. So thumb on four, middle on one, index on two, thumb on three, middle on one, index on two. So thumb, middle, index, 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 four, two, four, one, two, three, one, 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 two. If you want to play along with me, sorry, I was all over the place rhythmically, but that was a C chord. Um, so that's the pattern, and then. That's how that works. Now, if you want to throw in a strum, what I have found myself doing is I'll, I'll substitute that first pluck with the, actually, before I tell you that, let me tell you, tell you some rhythmical things, right? So if your song has a three kind of feel to it, one, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, then you would do what I was just doing, a straight rhythm. Da, da, da. Oh now let me stay on the C, C chord like we did before. Thumb middle index, thumb middle index, one, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three. Because I'm doing six plucks, so it fits a three beat really well. Now most songs are not in three, most songs are in four, right? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. So six plucks don't fit very well into four beats, at least not if you do them in a straight rhythm like that, unless you're going to do something like swing dancing, but that's a whole other thing. Forget I said that. <laughs> so what I do is I do a syncopated kind of rhythm that fits six plucks in four beats. And it's the same rhythm as you may have learned in, if you have learned the down, down, up, up, down, up strum, down, down, up, up, down, up, that, 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 down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, that it's the same I do the same rhythmical pattern as that with my six plucks so thumb middle index thumb middle index thumb middle index thumb da, 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 da. four one two three one two 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 you could do a different pattern if you want if you want to do a diff different rhythm you could 
you figure it out. <laughs> you could do, you could do one, two, three. That would work too, or one, two, three. That would work. You could do that, but I do the down, down, up, up, down, up strum pattern. It's a common rhythmical pattern. It fits a lot of music really well. And because it's syncopated, it sounds really cool. It sounds a little more interesting uh, to my ear than a more straight rhythm. So yeah. So now you can play that finger picking pattern with a song that has a three feel to it and a song that has a four feel to it, which is most song. So now let's add the strum. So I played that pattern for, I don't know, close to a year, and all of a sudden one day I found myself throwing these strums in, and then people ask me, what is that? So here's what it is. I substitute that first pluck on the four string with a, I use my index finger usually to do, although sometimes the thumb, but usually the index finger to strum down all four strings instead of just plucking the four string with my thumb. So I'm doing this instead. And then the rest, the other five plucks of the pattern are the same. Middle index, thumb, middle index, strum, middle index, thumb, middle index, strum, middle index, thumb, middle index, strum, middle index, thumb, middle index. Sometimes I do it with the thumb, middle index, strum, strum, middle index, thumb, middle index. Say that three times fast. Strum, middle index, thumb, middle index, strum, middle index, thumb, middle index. Now, Sometimes, lately, I've also been throwing in an additional strum on the upbeat coming down to that strum. So the sixth pluck of the, pat of the pattern, which is the last one, I'll do an up strum with my index finger instead of, normally that, that would be, you'd be using the index finger on the two string, right? The middle index, the middle index. So instead of that last index, I just do an up strum with that same index finger. And that leads right into the down strum on the beginning of the pattern. So there's an up strum at the end of the pattern leading into the strum at the beginning of the pattern. So it goes like this. Strum, middle, index, thumb, middle, strum, up strum. Okay. It's a little hard to say it and do it at the same time, but it sounds like this. Not like that. see that and that was clear uh, that is what I do that is a really cool pattern you can use it and all it fits all kinds of songs I use it anything that any song where the chord changes aren't happening too fast if a song has really fast chord changes you don't want to be finger picking it's too hard and you don't have time often anyway you don't uh, have time on each chord to do the full pattern. But if you have time on each chord to do the full pattern before switching to the next chord, especially if a song is slow, that adds a lot to it, but I do it on fast stuff too. Um, I throw that in a lot. It makes everything, almost everything sound cooler. Um, and uh, I'm gonna do another video for you where I show you how to use that to do fake solos. So if you haven't yet learned how to do all this fancy left hand stuff that people do who are really advanced and can do take real solos, I'm going to show you how to do fake solos using just that technique that we just learned. It's very cool and it makes you sound like you know way more than you do. It's really fun. So enjoy that. If you like it, just keep playing and playing and playing and you'll get it. It takes a while. It makes, might make your head spin at first, but slow it down, do it nice and slow. Play it a lot, play it at home on slow songs without singing until you get used to it. Once you start to get the pattern, you can start to speed it up a little. You can start to do it on more complicated songs. You can sing along with it, you know, build yourself up gradually. If you like that pattern and you want to learn it, it's a pretty cool pattern. I've been using it for a while and uh, I get a lot of comments on it. So 
enjoy that. And uh, if you want to learn to do fake solos, stick around for the next video. You've gone.